Tonight's topic is what is the correlation of the seven soulmates, the seven chakras, the law of attraction, and the ascension in the spiritual pyramid. As we mentioned in previous courses, the subconscious mind is the collective mind of the seven chakras, seven chakras being seven minds that form in our body. So that collective mind is pursuing resur resurrection when an ancient consciousness dies or an ancient body dies. There is an ancient consciousness that is spread and reborn in different new bodies. Now we're going to talk how these connections and how the networking among soulmates or angels could be estimated. Seven minds, seven chakras, and seven soulmates connected to an ancient consciousness. Each one of them are not just connected to six other angels. So these seven angels have each one of them an association to other ancient consciousness. And each chakra associated to each other ancient consciousness will have a set of other seven angels including themselves so in this scenario we all might have seven ancient consciousnesses each chakra connected to the ancient consciousness those are the seven congregations or angels this estimation is as follows each one of us might have 42 soulmates of a group or congregation of 49 angels or soulmates too. There's a possible variations in the estimation because everybody has different circumstances, not everybody has seven chakras, we can have less or more chakras depending on our, on our biology and our conditions about spiritual growth and energetic charge. So if we think in, a, in the next level, each one of those angels will also give us the opportunity to have other connections like secondary soulmates. If we make a, an estimation as well, these seven connections are connected to other six connections for each one of the individuals and uh, the estimation is seven times seven times seven so seven elevated by three equals 343 angels as a total population of the congregations associated to our group or our our spiritual family and the estimated total of indirect soulmates or secondary soulmates might be equivalent to 301 secondary soulmates. That's a big family. So this is how they correlate and how we can form big uh, connections, large connections and the greater the connection, healthy connections, the greater our completeness. The idea is that if we have a family of uh, spiritual soulmates we should help others to to have good relations with their soulmates. We shouldn't be jealous, we shouldn't be possessive, we should actually help each other to pursue happiness. We're all pursuing happiness. And this is the key to um, create good connections and healthy connections from the spiritual standpoint. Get rid of all those negative emotions that makes us unethical. Let's say that we're just connected to one ancient consciousness as a point of reference. In this point of reference, we attract, or the ancient consciousness automatically is constantly attracting all soulmates and uh, pursuing that completeness. Here I'm presenting the spiritual pyramid. And this is spiritual pyramid or spiritual maturity pyramid it has several levels aberration, carnalism, serenity and freedom, self realization, divine love or divine self love, unattachment and supernatural. 
and the next level is the nirvana that's the ultimate ultimate goal to pursue the nirvana thought by jesus or buddha or krishna the very enlightenment and eternal life what would happen if our soulmates are close to us however the aberration is the state in which we are aberration or carnalism so aberration being irrational behavior and uh, carnalism addiction and violence or maybe not physical violence but verbal violence as well obviously we will repel we could repel those soulmates and our soulmates could go away from us because of our spiritual maturity condition what if we instead of are in the other levels self-realization serenity and freedom perhaps they will be closer and stay closer but not with the strong and healthy connections serenity and freedom is the state where people is free of demon circuits and aberrations however they they don't have an organized life or they are living is not exactly ethical and the great majority of the people is in serenity and freedom people who are not only receiving and going through ups and downs severely uh, in self-realization people is happier than the average person and they are very successful however their uh, success could turn into ego and materialism and that could also be repelling it could be representing a roadblock for the law of attraction of our happiness and our completeness that that divine or ancient consciousness is always, always pursuing that unity in the next level if we go to divine self-love when you fall in love with yourself when you understand what is true love that true love is away from away from fear away from jealousy away from possessiveness away from anger when you fall in love with yourself, when you understand the true essence of love, when you understand that there's nothing special in loving the ones who love us, but what is really special is to love, to even to love our worst enemies. When you understand that, all you will have in your heart is love, and that's so good, so good, so good, that you want the same for everybody. And that will boost the attraction of those soulmates that you need in your life so yes life is not about us it's about everybody else we need to create those connections and make a positive impact as much as we possibly can toward those soulmates keep those connections all those persons who for some reason representing a beautiful connection and a strong connection with without you understanding what was the reason perhaps that's because they were soulmates one of your 42 soulmates if they are gone they're not coming back perhaps you, there, there's, there's a way that you can attract them back and forgive and understand the law of attraction of our spiritual state so this is the end of the presentation I really encourage you guys to to please uh, keep this in mind express love make loving connections healthy relationships getting rid of all jealousy all possessiveness all, or all fear fear of loss all anger all resentment and let the law of attraction make things come true